and good afternoon everybody and welcome here. We are at Auto Club Speedway getting ready for an 8 on 8 organization versus organization main event. It's NSRA versus NRSL going back to the days when Sean the Dog 97 hosted NSRA versus PORWC. Well here on the 5th anniversary of the NSRA Sports Channel being here on YouTube, we are getting ready for two of the remaining top organizations in the NR2003 community to go head to head here tonight at Auto Club Speedway for 50 laps of racing. NSRA represented with Chevrolets, NRSL represented with Fords, NSRA starts on the inside row and on the outside row is NRSL. We got two specific wildcard drivers that may kind of play a big factor into the outcome of tonight's race in the fact that they got in via the NSRA and the NRSL draws for their respective rides. The 24 of Joshua Circuli for NSRA and the 2 of Kyle Keith for NRSL. So that's certainly going to be something that we'll keep our eyes on during the course of tonight's event. But without further ado, we're going to go down now. We're going to get you your starting lineup for today's event. You'll see the representatives for both organizations. As on row one, on the pole position, the fastest in the NSRA qualifying race, Jake Baskinger, the number 95 private Chevrolet, and alongside of him, the fastest in the NRSL qualifying race in the number nine, Stanley Tools Ford Fusion, Zach Rogers. Row two, gonna be made up of NSRA president, Seth Cole, the number 52 cheese at Chevrolet, and alongside of him, the number 16, 3M Ford of Alan Cavanaro. Then row three, the inside line, the number 42, Target Chevrolet of Levi McIntyre, and alongside of him, Charles Jackson, and the number 99, Fastenel Ford. In row four, Trent Dunham, in the number one, Trent the Heads of Cessna Chevrolet, and alongside of him, Charles Sanford, in the Motorcraft, Ford Fusion, number 21. In row five on the inside, Michael Norman, the Dale Earnhardt Sr. Goodwrench Chevrolet, number three, and alongside of him, the wildcard driver for NRSL, Kyle Keith, in the number two, Target Ford Fusion. In row six, the wild card driver for NRSRA, Joshua Sterkley, in number 24, driving in Hunker Chevy, and alongside of him, the president of NRSL, Dylan Young, in the number 22, Shell Pennzoil Ford. Dylan Poti, the vice president of the NRSRA, in the number 31, Valvoline Chevrolet, lines up on the inside of row seven, alongside of Kyle Matthews, in the number 17. Best by four, let's get command. There's the command, and in the final row, Anthony McCurry in the number 88, Diet Mountain Dew Chevrolet, and alongside of him, the number 43, Smithfield, Smithfield Foods Ford of James Qualls. Those are your 16 representatives for NSRA and NRSL. We are getting ready to go here under the lights at Auto Club. 50 laps of racing, caution flags are on. We'll see at the end of this event who is going to pick up the victory for their respective organization. You know, it's kind of interesting too. You take a look at the two wildcard drivers for both organizations. Kyle Keith, I'm trying to remember back, I believe uh, it was Daytona. He ended up sweeping the weekend in NSRL competition in the Universal Orlando Cup Series as well as the Outback uh, Xfinity Series. Both of those races he won. You look at Joshua Circuli, he made quite a name for himself in the most recent season of the Hershey's Cup Series, going to victory lane three different times. Or actually, it might have been twice. I think it was twice, but he was a chaser as well. But here we go, Jake Baskinger, Zach Rogers, 50 laps of racing. We're going to find out which organization wins. The green flag's out. We're underway here at Auto Club. Typical Auto Club physics apply. The inside line into the corner, the best line. But the top side is the best place to be coming off the turn, especially turn four. You get a real good run off that turn. And Team NSRA out in front early. Taking the top two positions, Baskinger to the lead, Seth Cole to second, and Trent Dunham going to split his teammate, if you will, Levi McIntyre, three wide with Zach Rogers. And now Seth Cole going to go to the inside of Jake Baskinger. Now it's really going to be interesting to see 
how NSRA teammates, NRSL teammates, how they work with each other here. Are they willing to just ride behind each other? Or do they want to go for the lead themselves? Look at Zach Rogers. He's the highest qualifier, started second for Team NRSL. Right now, he and Alan Cavanaro working together on the inside line. They've now moved into second and third place. As now Zach Rogers will try and reel in Jake Baskinger for the top position. Cavi's going to slide into third place now, just ahead of Trent Dunham. Look how quick Anthony McCrory moved from the back to the front. He started the last of the NSRA drivers back in the 17th position, make that 15th position. For some reason, I keep wanting to say there are 18 drivers in this field, and there are only 16. I have to stop doing that. I apologize. So he started in the 15th position, and he's already now battling for second place with Alan Cavanaro. Right behind him, Dylan Young. Didn't take much time for the president of the NRSL to work his way up there. He's now battling for fourth place with Trent Dunham. But all this going on behind the 95 of Jake Baskinger. We saw just the kind of speed that he has underneath that Chevrolet during the NSRA qualifying session. And now he's got Anthony McCrory right behind him. Of course, Anthony McCrory coming off his first NSRA championship, winning the Hershey's Cup Series, season one. They're four wide behind him as McCrory goes to the lead. Look at there, Trent Dunham, Kyle Matthews, Dylan Young, and Alan Cavanaro all went four wide through turns one and two for a brief moment. Now they've settled it back out to three wide. So new leader of this race, Anthony McCurry, but for how long? Here comes his teammate Jake Passenger back to the inside once again. But there you see the runoff of four that McCurry gets, and he's going to keep the lead. Meanwhile, further back here, there's wildcard driver Joshua Circuli for Team NSRA. They we're almost four wide on the front straightaway again. Here comes James Qualls to the bottom. Qualls started dead last in this field, and now he's getting some drafting help from his teammate Dylan Young. Trying to push him to the third spot. Even though this is a speedway, Auto Club is a very fast speedway and it is draft reliance. So keep that in mind. Now James Qualls working all over the back bumper of Trent Dunham. He's now got Dylan Young to his inside. And Qualls and Trent going to work together on the outside line. Unlikely alliance there between a Chevy and a Ford. One for NRSL, one for NSRA. But there you see now James Qualls. He used the draft that Trent Dunham and he had on the high side to slingshot to the bottom. And now he's going for second place. He hasn't quite got Trent cleared off that corner. He might be able to get some drafting help from Kyle Matthews now. There in the best by Ford. Oh, but Kyle got a great run down the back straightaway, and he's going to go for the second position now, sticking James Qualls in the middle and Trent Dunham to the high side. And now the outside line going to kick back in. Qualls and Dunham will swing around Kyle Matthews. Dylan Young does the same. All this going on behind Anthony McCurry. An NRSL driver has yet to lead here tonight. So far, two NSRA drivers have, have led up to this point. Jake Baskinger led the first few laps, and now Anthony McCurry taking a turn out in front. Just look at how the cars bounce, almost literally, down the back straightaway. This is one of the oldest surfaces in NASCAR. And you can just see the wear and tear, the aging of the track with the way that these cars just jostle as they go down the back stretch. Now James Qualls will clear completely for the second position. Now he can begin to try and reel in Anthony McCrory and take the lead for the first time tonight for an NSRL representative. Top three have broken away at this current point in time. Battle is on for fourth between Trent Dunham, Dylan Young. Now Trent in control of that position. Dylan Young now slides back to fifth. Are they going to go four wide again? They almost look like it. They are. Trent Dunham, Jake Baskinger, Dylan Young, and Michael Norman decided to back out of that. He would have been the one on the inside line to make it four wide, but thought better of it. But Kyle Matthews, he's going to go for it. He found a spot to the inside line, and it almost was four wide going into one. Battles on for the lead. James Qualls has caught Anthony McCrory. Now trying to get by. Both these drivers 
for their respective organizations started in the final row. And here nine laps later, they're up here battling for the lead. Qualls takes the top position. Can he slide up and clear McCrory? He can. New leader, the first NRSL representative to go to the top of the leaderboard, James Qualls. Here come a couple more NRSL representatives. Kyle Matthews now into third. Dylan Young right there in fifth. Now moves to fourth as he slips by Trent Dunham. So now NRSL taking a turn up here at the front. And McCrory going to peak low. Outside line though. NRSL teammates going to work together on the high side. Ganging up against the Diet Mountain Dew Chevrolet. Trent Dunham trying to get down there, offer what drafting help he can, but I'm not certain that McCurry's going to be able to hold this momentum off the corner. That outside line's going to kick back in. Qual's going to keep the lead, and here comes Kyle Matthews and Dylan Young also foraging up the outside line. Kyle Matthews, Anthem Curry still door to door. McCrory was able to use the inside line into one to counter the run Kyle Matthews had off of four on the high side. Now we'll see what happens here in three and four. McCrory appears to clear. He's going to go for the lead. He's got a lot of teammates lined up on the inside with him trying to help him get a run off the corner, but it's not going to be enough. He had Trent Dunham there, Joshua Circling, Michael Norman all knows to tail on the inside line, but Qualls still with the run off of four will keep the top position. Anthony McCurry with his wingman Trent Dunham. They're going to try again. They got Circuli on the bottom along with Michael Norman once again. Going to try and see if they can mount another charge. There's a couple of drivers for both organizations I haven't really seen make any drastic moves up towards the front. For NRSL, Charles Sanford and Kyle Keith are kind of running at the back. For NSRA, haven't seen much of Dylan Poteet or Seth Cole. It's a long race. We've only completed 13 laps. Actually, we've only completed 12 laps. We're on lap 13 as McCrory out in front. But here comes the third NSRA driver to lead tonight. Trent Dunham goes to the top of the leaderboard. So they worked lap after lap. They finally got it done, got around James Qualls, and now NSRA dominating the front. Four representatives in the top five just moments ago, but now they're starting to slip back. Baskinger caught in the middle. McCurry caught in the outside line. And there was almost some contact right there between McCurry and Dylan Young as Trent Dunham will lead a lap. So we've had four different drivers lead a lap tonight. Three drivers from NSRA, one driver from NRSL, that being James Qualls. The three drivers from NSRA, Jake Baskinger, Anthony McCurry, and now the current leader, Trent Dunham. Joshua Circuli there in the second position. Got in via the draw. He was the wild card driver. And now he wants to turn at the front. He's going to dip low on Trent Dunham. No, not going to be able to clear Trent as Dylan Young. He tried to take the second spot. And now representative number four for NSRA will lead a lap. The wild card driver, Joshua Circuli. I said watch out for those two wildcard drivers. They could play a huge factor into this race. And Circuli took him about 15 laps to get to the top of the leaderboard. How about Kyle Keith in the two? Oh my goodness, that is a precarious position. Four wide back here with Zach Rogers, Seth Cole, and Charles Samper. They settle it back out, but there was very nearly contact with the right front of Kyle Keith's machine and the left rear of Seth Cole's machine going down the back straightaway. They were not giving very much room. They're gonna go four wide further up. That's Jake Baskinger and wow, okay, wow. What was looking like was gonna be a four wide situation settled out to double wide very quickly going into turn one. I'm not exactly sure how they managed that, but they did. I thought for certain they were gonna be four wide up here battling for what would right now be, I believe, the fourth position. Right now, Team NSRA Top three, single file. Trent Dunham back to the lead. Circuli second, McCurry third. Now the battle on again for the top position. Circuli wanted to get the run out of four, but the outside line kicks in and Trent Dunham keeps the top position.
Another driver we really haven't seen up there for Team NSRA is the 42 of Levi McIntyre. Now it's a little difficult from the far away view to tell the difference between Kyle Keith and Levi McIntyre since the both of them are sponsored by Target, which is why Team NSRA is running Chevys, Team NRSL running Fords. So that way it's a lot easier to tell. And there you can see that first Target car is Chevrolet. That's Levi McIntyre, the Target car at the tail end of the field is the Ford of Kyle Keith, so it makes it a little bit easier to tell the two apart. Well, right now, in the first half of this race, it has been all NSRA. Right now, they have swept the top four positions. The first NRSL representative is James Qualls Dylan Young battling right now. Well, that would actually be for sixth because Levi McIntyre just took, well, he's trying to take the fifth position. That doesn't mean that it's gonna stay this way for the whole race. This is Auto Club, which to me, I, if I'm gonna give Auto Club a name, this is the super speedway of speedways for two reasons. One, it relies on draft. The speeds are very like a restrictor plate track. And secondly, you don't have to be running up at the front to stay at the front. You can easily work your way to the lead. Case in point, Anthony McCurry, James Wall started in the final row, seven laps. We saw them running first and second place. Speaking of Anthony McCurry, he wants to take a turn back out in front again. As he's to the inside of Trent Dunham. I'm trying to remember, I don't know about the uh, NS or NRSL side. Sorry for that skip, I had to take my dog out. I don't know about the uh, NRSL side, but I'm trying to remember, out of these representatives, who is the longest member, and I think it's possibly Anthony McCurry. I'm not 100% certain. No, I'm not really certain. The three original NSRA members are not in tonight's event. Dougie Shears, Matthew Rodriguez, Robert Ban. I remember we were talking about earlier, Charles Sanford didn't really look like he was making a charge to the front. Well, looks like the time is now. There you see him. The Motorcraft Quick Lane Ford has now worked his way up to ninth place and utilizing the outside line with teammate Kyle Matthews. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm seeing a number of the NRSL drivers drift up to that high line. Qualls, Dylan Young, Kyle Matthews, and Charles Sanford. Now you see Kyle Keith doing the same thing. It's allowing him to get that run off the corner, and now they're starting to fight up here into the top five. Dylan Young, three wide for second. Kyle Matthews with him. Dylan Young leading the charge. The Ford Brigade. He's gotta try and find his way back to the high side here pretty quick. Maybe he can clear Joshua Circling and Trent Dunham and slide up in front of him. Whoa, Michael Norman. Oh, are we gonna have pit stops? I think we're having pit stops. Yes, we are. McCrory is in along with Dylan Young, Kyle Matthews, Michael Norman, Kyle Keith, Charles Sanford, Levi McIntyre, Dylan Poti, Charles Jackson, and Alan Cavanaro. Five drivers decided to stay out. Three of them for NSRA, two of them for NRSL. Trent Dunham stayed out along with James Qualls, Joshua Circuli, Zach Rogers, and Seth Cole. So now, it's gonna get really interesting. Also kind of interesting of the time they are pitting, lap 23, which means if they have to pit again, they could be about two laps short. This could be a race that comes down to fuel strategy as now the last remaining five drivers who stayed out will come to pit road. Let's follow the current leader, Trent Dunham, to his pit stall and see if they're gonna go with a four tire stop. This would indicate to me that they would probably be able to make it the rest of the way on fuel. If they do a shorter stop, then they more than likely know they're gonna be short anyway. Trent Dunham pulls into his pit stall. Let's see, and they are gonna go around, change right side tires, same deal for 
Circulate, and there you see left side tires going on the 43 of James Qualls. So it looks like it is going to be a full-fledged four-tire stop for everyone. Which says to me they might try and risk it if it comes down to fuel mileage at the end of this race. Look at James Qualls. That was a pretty fast pit stop. He almost got out ahead of Trent Dunham, but here come the other drivers who had just been to pit road. They're going to catch him pretty quick. They're in turn one as the... Drivers exiting pit road are just now coming out of turn two. I think the leader after all this could potentially be Dylan Young. He's battling side by side with Anthony McCrory. Trent Dunham, James Qualls trying to get out ahead of him. McCrory will clear Dylan Young. This could potentially be the battle for the lead right here. Jake Baskinger in the mix, but I think Trent, Trent might be able to get up to speed. James Qualls. He's able to get up to speed too. He'll probably be able to merge in line in the fifth spot. And now here comes Anthony McCrory. Here comes Dylan Young. They're gonna go three wide for the lead here just after pit stops. Dylan Young trying to take, oh look out, Baskinger blew up. Baskinger just blew up. The 95 car just blew up. Right in the middle of turn two, the engine has expired on the Thrivent Chevrolet. And Jake Baskinger's hopes of winning for Team NSRA goes up in smoke, literally. Now caution flags are on, but he was able to get the car down to the apron. And if he can limp it back around to pit road, we will stay clean and green. That was right in the turn two area, right about here, but that engine let go. What a tough break there for Jake Baskinger. Started on the pole, the fastest in qualifying for the NSRA segment. And his night will come to an early end, and now you gotta wonder <laughs> what's going through the minds of these drivers. There you see Baskinger still limping around trying to get to pit road. Now these drivers gotta be wondering, uh-oh, is my engine gonna go? After the cycle of pit stops, Team NRSL, their representatives are running first, second, and fourth. Remember what I said, just because NSRA was dominating the first half, don't think they didn't mean NSRL wasn't going to get themselves up here to the top of the leaderboard at some point in time in the second half. Dylan Young's the leader, James Qualls second, Kyle Matthews now sweeps the podium for NRSL in third, McCrory is in fourth. Fifth place under contest, Dunham has it, Circuly wants it. 7th place Charles Sanford, Kyle Keith's in 8th, and Seth Cole runs right now in 9th. 10th place is Dylan Pote, 11th Michael Norman, 12th place is Zach Rogers, Charles Jackson's back in 13th, 14th place Levi McIntyre all by his lonesome, also by his lonesome in 15th is Alan Cavanaro, and right now scored in 16th. I think he made it to Pitt Road, although he has not retired from the race yet, Jake Baskinger will undoubtedly finish out the evening in the 16th position. Battle for the lead, James Qualls to the inside of teammate Dylan Young. And Trent Dunham trying to stick his nose in there three wide, he's gonna do it. But is he gonna get the run off the corner? Wow, look at James Qualls utilizing the middle to outside line run. He slipped between his teammate Dylan Young and Trent Dunham, moved up in front of the 22 to get that big run off the corner. Right now we have nine drivers in this lead pack. 10th place Dylan Poteet is heading the second pack and they're about three, or make that four and a half seconds behind this lead group. Now do they have enough time to reel in the top group? There's drivers back there like Poteet, Michael Norman, Zach Rogers, Charles Jackson. If they can manage to say single file, they might be able to reel in this group. Let's see this time by if they were able to make up any ground. It was 4.3 seconds last time. This time, it is just about four seconds. So they cut down three tenths. So they are slowly reeling in. The question is, do they have enough time? It's Anthony McCrory goes back to the top position. This is the third time tonight that McCrory has taken a turn out in front. And Trent Dunham now will try and take second from James Qualls. Here comes Charles Samper into the mix. Now as I look, there are one, two, three, four, I believe, representatives for NSRA. Five representatives in this lead pack for NRSL. So the numbers are in favor of NRSL. 
and if that second group can catch, they only cut down seven one hundreds that time. If that second group can catch, it would then be a seven to six advantage for Team NRSL because there are two representatives for NSRA, Michael Norman, Dylan Poteet, two representatives for NRSL, Charles Jackson, Zach Rogers in that second group. Trent Dunham to the inside line, and he's going to very easily clear Anthony McCrory for the lead. So Trent Dunham back to the top position. Charles Sanford actually seemed to get a much better run on the inside of the corner than most drivers have. He is able to stay side by side with Anthony McCrory heading down here into turns one and two. And here comes Kyle Keith to the bottom. And almost some contact there between Dylan Young, Joshua Circuli in that battle for fifth. Down the back straightaway they go. Kyle Keith trying to clear Anthony McCurry. Charles Samper backs out of that three wide situation. Now tucks in line just in front of Dylan Young. All this going on for the second position. Trent Dunham right now has scampered away with the lead. And now McCurry on the outside line will take second. Charles Sanford trying to clear his teammate Kyle Keith for third, and he's going to try and tuck down in front if he can. I think he's clear. Well, maybe not quite. Dylan Young trying to push Charles Sanford by Kyle Keith, realizing that the outside line's getting the better momentum, and now I believe both the 21 and the 22 are clear of the two. Anthony McCurry, well, he and Trent Dunham, they don't want to work together. The both of them want to be out in front in that clean air. And McCurry will go back to the top position. Trent Dunham into second. Third place now, Charles Samper. Here comes Kyle Keith trying to take that spot. Dylan Young, big run on the outside line. Here comes Kyle Matthews with a big run too. And again, up at the front, crossover move. Trent Dunham to the inside of Anthony McCurry. You gotta wonder whether this is helping or hurting these drivers. The only thing, maybe the reason why they're swapping so much could be because of what happened to Jake Baskinger. Now, when Jake Baskinger's engine blew, he was tucked up right behind another car. There could be some overheating issues for these drivers being tucked up one behind the other. That might be why Anthony McCurry and Trent Dunham keep swapping the lead back and forth. Trent Dunham now back in control. Meanwhile, that second pack has stayed pretty much status quo about four seconds back. They've not really made up ground. They've not really lost ground. That time, they picked up about four one hundredths. They're not really making up a lot of ground. Let's jump back there real quick, just see if they're working together or if they're racing, and there you see it. Zach Rogers, Charles Jackson side by side, Dylan Pote quite a ways ahead, Michael Norman quite a ways behind. They're not in a tight enough draft to be able to lay down fast enough lap times to reel in the top nine. So for these four, it may be a battle for the 10th position. Because I just don't know if they're going to have time to be able to reel in that top nine. Let's see if they cut down the lead at all this time. Waiting for the scoring monitor update. Well, that time they made up a little bit more ground. Two tenths. And there you see Zach Rogers again to the inside of Charles Jackson. Now, if Jackson can tuck back in line, they may not lose much momentum. They just have to stay single file right now, and that's what they're doing. They still have an opportunity. They still have an opportunity. If they could just stay like this... But again, that whole question of maybe overheating issues, that could be why we're seeing so much jostling for position. Drivers moving out, trying to get that clean air. And now they're really broken up. I don't think they made up very much ground on this lap. Nope, stayed status quo. They actually lost about 3 one thousand or 3 one hundredths that time. At the front, Trent Dunham better look in his rearview mirror because Kyle Keith, is right behind him. How ironic, too. Both these drivers are uh, teammates in NRSL, and actually they're going to be teammates in NSRA competition as well. So how ironic. The two of them are enemies here tonight, one representing NSRA, one representing NRSL. And the top two have broken away right now from third place, which right now is being held by Anthony McCrory. And you got Seth Cole, Joshua Circulus. So right now, NSRA sweeping four of the top five positions. Still oh, quite a ways to go. Next time by 12 laps remaining, still anything can happen. Field's kind of broken up there at the front, too. There's a gap from Kyle Keith back to McCurry, and then another gap back to that battle for fourth between 
Seth Cole and, and uh, Joshua Circulate, and, and maybe, just maybe, these drivers are saving their stuff, trying to cool their engines down in order to then make the aggressive moves in the closing stages of this race. Trent Dunham leading Kyle Keith. Those two have broken away. They hold about roughly six tenths between themselves and third place, Anthony McCrory. And keep in mind too, these drivers pitted on laps 23 and 24. If that's the furthest they could go, they would be one to two laps short on fuel. That's only if they were bone dry coming to pit road. And I'm trying to remember the five drivers that stayed out the extra lap were Trent Dunham, James Qualls, Zach Rogers, Seth Cole, And I think it was another Chevy driver, but I can't remember who it was. I'm trying to think of it and I cannot pull it in. I don't think McCurry was actually the first one to come to pit road. It might have been circularly, but I'm not 100% certain. Meanwhile, the battle is on for second. Anthony McCrory trying the inside line on Kyle Keith, and there you can see it did not work. Kyle Keith keeps the top position. That gap again from ninth back to 10th stays around four seconds. They've neither gained nor lost. They've just basically just been hanging there. And here comes Circuli. Big run down the back straightaway, trying to take second place away from Kyle Keith. Now here's the interesting thing. Let's say, an NSRA or NRSL driver is leading the race, and NSRA or NRSL driver is running second. Would that second place driver be trying to play defense for his teammate, or will he try going for the lead and the win himself? Here comes Kyle Matthews running up the outside line there, battling for third with Joshua Circuli, and they almost go four wide there. Let's see if we can find out. Yeah, Baskinger's listed 15 laps down. Now, because I had to take my dog out and pause it at one point there, uh, unfortunately being not live, we're not able to actually see what the reason was for the 95 being out of the race. We will get to see it when the race is over. Trent Dunham still leads. Kyle Keith right there in second. And again, going back to what I was saying, those wild card drivers could play a huge factor into this. Well, look where they're running with less than 10 to go running in second and right now circularly scored in fifth. He's in a three wide battle with Seth Cole and Anthony McCurry. And now Trent Dunham might want to be worried because behind him are a couple of teammates, Kyle Keith and Kyle Matthews. Kyle Duo running behind Trent Dunham and this could get very interesting if the two and the 17 can hook up and create a draft. But right there, you can see it looked like the 17 kind of got sucked back into the 24's draft of Joshua Circuli. As now they're gonna run single file up here at the front, all just trying to stay in the slipstream. They could be trying to save fuel, who knows? Top nine will settle this out unless pit strategy comes into play. Here comes Kyle Matthews, big run down the back straightaway. It looked like he thought about stepping out of line on Kyle Keith, and now he runs way to the high side. I'm not exactly certain, but pit stops might be going on again. Yes, they are. Kyle Keith is coming to pit road. Anthony McCurry is in as well with about six laps to go. Michael Norman, Charles Jackson's in. And this is gonna change a lot of things, folks. Oh boy. I wondered if they were gonna be short. Well, it looks like they're gonna be not one to two laps short, they're gonna be about five to six laps short. Now Trent Dunham, when's he gonna pit? Seth Cole trying to move by for the third, second position rather, he almost pushed Joshua Circuli up the track, and apparently Trent Dunham's indicating he's coming to pit road. Looks like Charles Samper and JT Bryant are doing the same. And Circuli is in as well. So the lead now will cycle over to actually a battle between Kyle Matthews and Seth Cole. James Qualls also stays out, along with Zach Rogers. 
who is going to gain the track position on the final pit stop of this race. Kyle Matthews might be wise to let Seth Cole slip on by and just take the lead if they're both going to be pitting this lap. Unless Kyle Matthews is going to stay out an extra lap, then he should stay on the high side and continue to battle. And Seth Cole's coming in. Kyle Matthews is going to stay out an extra lap. James Qualls coming in. Zach Rogers will come in. And I believe the last car that has still to pit is Kyle Matthews in the 17. Now the question is, does he have enough fuel to get around? Oh, wait a minute, that speed's decreasing. Nope, he's getting back up to speed again. So apparently he does have enough fuel to get around one more time to pit road. This could be the strategy that wins him this race. We'll see. Now through three and four, begins to back down his best buy Ford. He's gonna come to pit road. We will stick with the 17 because he is the one right now that is trying to gain track position and win this race. Let's see how long they stay on pit road. I wouldn't even go for tires. I would just go with fuel only if I'm that 17 car. He will cross the line. There are, I believe, three laps remaining as he has just crossed the stripe. And it will be gas and go. They're going to get that thing as full as they can so he can make it around three more laps. He's down and away. Now we're looking for the 52 of Seth Cole. Here comes the pack. They are hitting the start finish line now. Kyle Matthews has got to hurry. Leading that pack is Anthony McCurry, Kyle Keith, Joshua Circuli. And Kyle Matthews trying to get out ahead of all of them. Is he gonna be able to merge up in front? He's trying and no, he's not successful. McCrory with the lead. Circuli in second. Trent Dunham would be in third place. Kyle Keith in fourth. Seth Cole fifth. Right now, Ennis Ray right up at the top. They are first through fourth. Then you've got fifth place, Keith. Sixth place, Sanford. Matthews falls back in seventh. Dylan Young there in eighth. They're the final drivers to settle this thing. James Qualls has lost touch. And now Circuli to the inside with less than two to go. Circuli takes the top position. Can enter a cell challenge? Right now, their highest representative is Kyle Keith. He's got Charles Sanford with him. Kyle Matthews there. Dylan Young there. Can they do something? Or Ennis Ray? They're going to battle with each other three wide. Dunham, McCurry, Circuli. Perfect opportunity for Team Enter a cell to capitalize. White flag displayed, here comes Sanford in the 21. Sanford trying to clear Trent Dunham. Can he duck to the inside? Oh, that 21's in perfect position. He's in a beautiful position. He's now on the back bumper of Anthony McCrory. Can Charles Sanford pull it off? Will he dip to the inside? He's gotta get around that 88. Which line's McCrory gonna take? Which line's Sanford gonna take? Sanford. Six behind Anthony McCrory. Now he's trying to get to the inside. Trent Dunham there, but here comes McCrory. Sanford tries to get alongside. Off the corner, McCrory clears though. And Anthony McCrory will win the NSRA versus NRSL main event here at Auto Club. Charles Sanford, I thought he was in the best spot. The way he crossed over, got the inside line into one. But unfortunately for him, he didn't have a teammate to be able to push him on the high side of three and four. He had Trent Dunham and Joshua Circuli who were not going to help him past Anthony McCrory. And Anthony McCrory, who spent pretty much the majority of this race out in front, I think he may have led the most laps. It came down between him and Trent Dunham. He's going to win this race. Sanford will finish second. Dunham third. Seth Cole in fourth. Joshua Circuli fifth. Dylan Young, Kyle Matthews, and Kyle Keith, four drivers of each organization finishing in the top eight. As a matter of fact, five of each organization finishing in the top ten. And the only driver to retire from this race was Jake Baskinger in the 95, officially a header problem for the pole sitter of this event. What a great battle there at the end. Representatives from both organizations took turns out in front. Two interesting pit strategies in green flag pit stops 
and it came down to the final lap. Anthony McCurry holding off Charles Sanford a win for Team NSRA. Well, thank you all so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this. Maybe we'll do this again another season. Who knows? But thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. My dog's going to start barking. Uh, just letting you know. But thank you everybody for tuning in. And again, thank you for supporting this channel for five years on YouTube. Really appreciate it. Thanks to Dylan Young for coming up with this idea. It was great collabing with him in this event. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you guys next time for whatever comes out here on the SRA Sports Channel. Offline racing at its best. See you guys later.